parents of Taurus children, thanks you guys so much for watching. This is your child's um, monthly forecast for March. Um, let's see what the energy is. I'm using um, a different deck. Hopefully you guys can see this okay. Um, but I'm using um, the best, the child's version of my best day again. And also um, this might hurt for the outcome. Let's get into it as they say a lot on YouTube. Okay, um, so their energy for the month of March, they're not feeling very strong. Hmm, we are taking an interesting theme here. Mar uh, Taurus, they're known for their strength, their stocky, the bull is stocky, the bull is strong, the bull is stable. And um, it's interesting that Aries rules the, the head and they were doubting their their mental like their the, how intelligent that they were and they so i just i i find that interesting let's continue um okay stable so that's good hmm something is challenging hmm Either rejecting an offer we'll see you guys are transcending things are getting easier for you you the path is becoming more clear so that you're able to navigate things a lot um, let's just move that down a little bit. Ah, there we go uh, didn't realize when my chair moves stuff anyway um you guys are able to see a lot more clearly about things um and then that brings a lot of hope clarity peace because you don't have to use the same level of energy to get things done things become clearer to you and for you which is great okay um So your child has I am strong in reverse. It says, today I will tap into my power, whether it is playing a sport, handling a problem, or doing something that is normally hard for me in school. I feel like gym class, I feel teasing, bullying, ridicule um, and from classmates. Maybe your child, someone is saying that your child isn't strong enough to do something, or your child is um, doubting their ability to do something physical. It even could be an emotional strength for some. Like they can't do it. Like they don't have what it takes either mentally or physically to complete something. Um, they have a change in the wind in reverse. Are all of their cards in reverse? Yes, it is, except for yours. So there's definitely this, um, I'm getting doubt, um, doubt in their abilities, melancholy, not necessarily depression, but just this kind of like funk. Um, A change in the wind. Nothing is changing. Maybe they have to be stable about something. Like they're maybe they're they're being stubborn, or um, I just I see I see steadfastness in the midst of. It's like maybe something is changing around them. And they're the ones that are not budging. I feel I'm feeling wind. I'm feeling um, things around them are adjusting and changing. And it's not so much that your child is purposefully being stubborn or that they are being stubborn. I just see your child watching and observing, watching things change around them and go by, and they're very grounded. Um, so they're not allowing themselves to get caught up in whatever change this is. Uh, I'm looking to this just to confirm. Right. 
It says there are conditions brewing in your life that you have no control over. Don't fight them. Change is inevitable and it is for the best, for the highest good. Even if the storm blows away the structures you think you've built your dreams on, all will turn out as it should. You should, you will have a renewed clarity and strength uh, to do something even better. Um, spirit is your ally. So yeah, they're not going to be moved by something. They have gracefully aging in reverse. Um, it's like I said, it's not going to be easy. What's changing is whatever is coming. I feel like it's going to um, require them to dig deep to get through it. Um, it's not going to be graceful. It's not whatever transition it is. It's something where they're in order for them to come out better on the other end. They can't grin and bear it. They really just have to buckle down, get into it. And um, just, it's not brace themselves, but just stand, like be a tree planted in like grounded and rooted in the wind. And whatever this is, it's going to be challenging for them. I don't know if it can be health related for some of your Torians. Um, like I am sensing that. Um, it's, it is definitely something of physical nature where they're really having to just dig deep and embrace and, and ground themselves and prepare because this transition is going to beget great things. It's just getting there is going to be tough for them. And I really see little Torians like doing like this, or even if you're an adult Taurus, it's not stubbornness. Your child isn't necessarily going to fight you on things that they know that they need to do. What you may notice is if something is hard or challenging, they may kind of draw inward. They won't have words. It's like, this, there's, I need all my energy to get through this. So some of you may notice that your child is more quiet. Um, but they just don't have time for it. This isn't like, they don't want to spend their energy on that. Let's see. Yeah. They, they, the, they're going to be greater on the other side for this. Right. They're going to, it's like whatever, they're going to come out stronger on the other side. This is almost like some kind of metamorphosis where they start off questioning their strength. And because the progression of things gets harder, they're going to be a lot more grounded, a lot more um, rooted, uh, stronger, sturdier. Um, they're going to have a, like a, a greater resolve and a some girth, some added girth to their being. Um, whatever this is, it's a test and they will pass it. So kudos to them. Um, I'm, I'm excited for what this is, but it's like, it's going to be a weathering test and they're gonna come out on the other side okay and pretty much unscathed, um, but they're gonna, it, they're, it's going to refine them and make them into something stronger. That's an awesome message. So for you guys, parents of Torian children, um, you, <laughs> wow. How does, how, how does this happen? <laughs> Look at that. Wow, you are going to be a model for your child where they are not feeling strong you are strong you know it's almost like god where it says um you know let the the weak say i'm strong and he he's modeling that strength for us so it's like that's that's beautiful you are going to be modeling strength for your little one 
How awesome, how encouraging is that? Kudos to you guys. It says, today I will stand tall and be proud of myself. I will not let other people's opinions determine my future or the decisions I do or do not choose to make. I will stay strong and stick to what makes me whole and happy so I can prove to myself that I am capable. My personal strength will add value to my life. And essentially, I believe that this will add value to those around you. So kudos to you guys. It's a beautiful message and I pray that that resonates with you all. Thank you and let me know what you guys think in the comment section and we will see you in April. Take care.